I mean, like I said, I would love to get one of them higher end backs. So you're thinking linebacker first round. Yeah. Zayvon Collins. Yeah. I would like Zayvon a lot. Kormo. I would like Zayvon a lot. Yeah. You athlete. like Zayvon over Owusu Kormo? Um, I think it's more personal preference. Okay. For me, I like Zayvon's range a little bit more, but it just depends on what you're looking for. You know, I, this is the thing. With us right now, can you go wrong either way? Like, no. We need, you know what I mean? Like, it's a need there. One of them will probably be drafted. Yeah. I, I'm assuming it'd be Owusu Kormoa. Okay. Based off some of these mocks. Yeah. But, you know, the mocks are wrong sometimes. They're mocks. That's, that's, that's the purpose of mocks, right? But, if, just they're, throw them but if they're both there, you're, you're leaning Zavin? I'm going Zavin, yeah. I, okay. I love that vibe. I think you pair him with Devin Bush, and we get what we thought, what we wanted to have with Shazier and Bush. That's what you would have. And that solidifies you. That puts you in the... Was it the the Seattle Seahawks where they had Bobby Wagner and KJ Wright for 10 years? That's what you get with that, where it's just dominant. That's Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley type. That's Navarro Bowman and Patrick Willis type. It's different. I want that. All of a sudden, the defense I is shaping that. up a little bit. I want, and, and think about this. You bring Zavin in here, right? Athlete like that. You printed with Devin Bush. Now, you might have some holes around you, but that type of athlete next to Devin Bush? Yeah, you making up for a lot of that. But that's what we said, right? If you're going to do it the way the Steelers are doing it right now in terms of, all right, we're going to try to make this thing work as best as possible, even though we got to cut some corners here or there, you got to have your star players play to that caliber. Devin Bush will excel if you have a guy like that next to him. Not saying that he's not going to still play well with Robert Spillane next to him or whoever else, you know, plays next to him. But you could just see the difference. Think about Vince Williams. When Vince Williams played next to uh, Lawrence Timmons, he looked one way, right? They both were still very similar in their styles of play, though, right? Not the most fleet of footed, not the best in terms of coverage. You put Vince next to Shazier, you saw how much better Vince gained the king. You saw when Vince went back to John Bostic, took a step back. Then you see Vince next to Devin Bush, play goes back up. Same thing will be with Devin Bush. Now, if you put him with Zayvon Collins, just think about how dominant that's going to look. That's going to be freaky. So for me, I, that's, that's what I want. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get it, but that's what I want, baby. I'm definitely not opposed. I'm yeah. definitely not opposed because you could do that and then Lyman second round Absolutely. and then running back third yeah. or fourth round like and we now, just talked about. And now about. we're good to go. Now I have something defensively that's going to make up for whatever, you know, major holes we might still have remaining. I'm going to bank on Justin Lane or James Pierre really stepping up in a big way. And then from there, man, I'm going to rely on these picks and the things that we've been doing offensively in terms of bringing back Juju, in terms of re-signing Zach Banner and hoping that, hey, man, him being more of the big road grader style run blocker, that can help out from that standpoint as well. You obviously know Dotson's coming in here. So from there, now you got a competitive team. Now you got a chance to make some noise. But like you said, it, it, make it, some it, noise. It, you know, you, you, I, I hit him with yours right there, right? Yeah. That's, the, that's the move, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping at least. 